There's been discussions amongst the NFL owners about the idea of having a quarterback salary cap with the same prices that these quarterbacks are asking for when it comes to their contract negotiations. We saw Trevor Lawrence get a boatload of money. Daniel Jones got a boatload of money, even though he didn't deserve it. The owners are trying to find a way to collude against these rising quarterback prices. And let's just call it what it is. It's collusion because anytime you're coming together to figure out a way to counteract the rising quarterback market, you're finding ways to collude against these guys getting paid. And what's so stupid about this is you want to know who's responsible for the absurd prices that these quarterbacks are asking for. It's these damn owners like Jerry Jones overpaying for a guy who can't deliver in the playoffs. The Miami Dolphins are about to overpay Tua turning the ball over who can't deliver in the playoffs neither. It's the owner's fault because they keep overpaying these quarterbacks that are not as good as the salary that they're asking for. And what had me so annoyed is there are NFL fans that actually agree with this and feel a quarterback salary cap is a good idea. No, it's not. You keep saying that, oh, well, the quarterback makes so much money, JT. Nobody else can get paid. You know whose problem that is? It's the owner's problem. Maybe stop allocating 20% of your, of your salary cap to a quarterback that's not good to make up for not having a good enough team around him to win. Do you really think it's a good idea? If you're a Dolphins fan for Miami to be given Tua Tagovailoa a shitload of money? No, it's not. When you know he's not a quarterback that's good enough to elevate a team that has limitations. There's no need for a quarterback salary cap. How about we stop overpaying guys like Daniel Penny's? Tell them to go kick rocks. Let somebody else overpay for them in free agency. And we find another quarterback in the drive, but it's so hard to find a franchise quarterback. It's hard to find a Patrick Mahomes or a Lamar Jackson, but I don't think it's too hard to find an above average quarterback, especially if you're in a situation like the Miami Dolphins and you have Tua throwing the ball to Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. If he's somebody that has to be elevated by good coaching and a good team around him, why not just go ahead, draft the rookie quarterback, put him in that same situation where you get him on a rookie deal that gives you more money to spend and it allows you to have more salary cap flexibility like what you see with the 49ers than continuing to overpay for quarterbacks that aren't good enough to win you a Super Bowl. That's the direction that the NFL needs to start heading towards. If you can't find a quarterback that can win you a Super Bowl, then you shouldn't be paying them high-end quarterback money. We don't need a quarterback salary cap. These quarterback contracts are only high because these stupid owners keep overpaying for quarterbacks that are not that good to be getting the money that they're earning. We all knew the New York Giants made a terrible decision when they gave Daniel Jones that $40 million a year extension. And you can't tell me, oh, you got to pay market value. Daniel Jones' market value was $40 million a year? Who the hell was going to pay him that in free agency? Nobody. What I would have did was the same thing that the Baltimore Ravens did when they were going back and forth with their contract negotiations with Lamar Jackson. I would have made him a restricted free agent or put a tender on him where he has the ability to hear offers out from other teams. And then you have the opportunity to match any offer with any sad team if they do actually want your quarterback. That would have been a better option for the New York Giants Instead of just overpaying for Daniel Jones and allowing Saquon Barkley to walk away for nothing and play for your arch nemesis, the Philadelphia Eagles. These owners are the biggest hypocrites. I really don't get why they just can't allow guys like Dak Prescott to the walk 
instead of just overpaying for them, resetting the quarterback market. The Trevor Lawrence deal is a little outrageous, but I think in due time, it's going to end up being a pretty good deal considering how much CJ Stroud is going to make, which he'll definitely deserve that money. But a guy like Tua making just as much as Jared Goff and Trevor Lawrence when he hasn't proven anything in the postseason, he sucked in big games last season for the Dolphins. What the hell are they doing paying him all that money? You know Tua isn't good enough to win you a Super Bowl, so why are you paying him like he is? That's the thing with these owners. They don't want to accept accountability. And for the people that think this is a good idea, I would tell you that it's a bad idea only because there's no need for it. In the NFL, it's more than just playing chess on the field. It's also a chess game off it because you have to maneuver the salary cap in a way that allows you to pay for a high-end quarterback as well as being able to afford other premium positions on your team. Even if you do allocate a salary cap for a quarterback and you put a limit on how much a quarterback can get paid, you're going to have to do that for all the other positions because edge rushers get paid a lot of money. Left tackles, if you got a Trent Williams kind of talent there, it's going to demand a lot of money that's going to take a lot of salary cap space away from you. Same thing with these wide receivers. And that's not going to fly from the NFLPA because you can't put a limit on how much these players can get paid while you want to continue to extend the NFL regular season from 17 to 18 games. The more games you add, the more money you're going to make. You're making billions of dollars, and yet you want to put a cap on how much these athletes can make? If that's the case, how about you just stop making extra money and keep things the way they are or stop raising the salary cap? All you're doing is further making a problem that's already bad even worse by putting a salary cap restriction on the quarterbacks. Because you're going to have to do that for every other position. Part of the NFL is being able to maneuver the cap in a way that still allows you to have a winning team. Despite how much you're paying your quarterback. If you have a good quarterback that's making a lot of money. That means that he can do more with less. Which shows you why Kansas City just won the Super Bowl this past year. With Patrick Mahomes despite him having no elite receivers on that team. The only receiver you can name on that roster is Rasheed Rice. That's about it. We all know about Travis Kelsey. Rasheed Rice and Travis Kelsey are the only players that you can name off Kansas City's wide receiving core. Marquez Valdez-Scantling, can you even spell that? When you have a Patrick Mahomes, a Joe Burrow, a Lamar Jackson, premium quarterbacks like that deserve high-end money. Because they can do more with less. Even Trevor Lawrence to a certain extent. Justin Herbert, they can do more with less. Tua can't, which is why he shouldn't be paid top-end quarterback money. Who cares about you got to give him market value? Is Tua a market value franchise quarterback? No, the hell he's not. He's a very good quarterback, but not somebody that you give $250 million to. These NFL owners... Instead of taking accountability for the dumb contracts that they're giving some of these mid-level quarterbacks, they want to run away from it, and they just want to try to find a way to cap the pay, which is a bad business decision because the players are not going to fall in line with that. It's not fair to them that just because these quarterbacks make so much, you got to limit how much they're going to make because if you put a cap restriction on the quarterbacks, you got to do that for every other position. And these players want to get as much money as possible. And if the salary cap is going to rise every year and the amount of revenue that the NFL is making rises every single season, the players are only going to get more because they get a big slice of that pie. They are the ones who are responsible for this league being what it is today. We seem to forget this. If it wasn't for the players, there wouldn't be any of this. Which is why you can't put a limit on how much they can make.